Welcome to PUBG Notes. I'm Godspeed, and I'm coming at you with zero ping and 100% hot preview of the PCS3 Grand Finals. Here's my notes. We did it. We made it through Charity Showdown, PCS1, PCS2, and now we're kicking off PCS3 Grand Finals. PCS3 Group Stage came to a conclusion with the Iron Men, aka Group Stage Warriors, once again turning in a strong performance and finishing on top of the leaderboard. Sonics, Oath, and Zenith rounded out the top four as we saw the top teams stay on top. The last week of PCS3 group stage saw an intense battle for the top 16, but in the end, Fabled and One Eye Open piled up the points and sent Liberate, Virtue, and Gravity to the Challenger Cup. In the Challenger Cup, Gravity took the top spot with Kek W. Kears and Team Clueless coming in second and third, respectively. Looking ahead at the Grand Finals, we have some interesting storylines. Oath started strong and won the Charity Showdown, SDK took the PCS1 crown and dominated the PCS3 group stages, and Sonics are the current defending champs from PCS2. Any three of these teams have a legitimate shot at winning PCS3. And even though SDK finished first in groups and Oath has been coming on strong, my money is still on the Sonics and my Man Crush table too. Other teams that could surprise and take down the big three are Scrim Troll Zenith, roster rework team Veritas, and Don't Count Out Dodge. They finished top five in the group stage, and with their new roster, they could shake up the top of the leaderboard. And don't forget, you can make your own predictions with the Pick'em Challenge while you also earn those valuable esports points. PCS3 also introduced a new content series with the best title sequence in the history of title sequences. I, I didn't write that. Pull up on pull-ups to see matchroom breakdown, hype moments, and epic plays, and keep an eye out for more pull-up episodes during Grand Finals, breaking down the crucial and sometimes comical. See, what did I say? Zero. zero, zero I'll see you next time for my notes on Grand Finals, and again in December, in the end of the year, for my notes on the entirety of the 2020 PCS.